Hello YouTube, this video is going to be about my Psychopsis Mendenhall, first time bloomer, so I am excited. Let me tell you quite a story about her. This one, a well-known hybrid, was made in 1988 and there is two species in it, Psychopsis papilio and Sandere, kind of like a hybrid of Sandere. There is not too many species of Psychopsis in Mother Nature, maybe five or so. Psychopsis does not look like Ancidium, but guess what? It belongs to Ancidium Alliance. And what an odd name, Psychopsis. Name comes after a Greek goddess Psyche, and actually Psyche means soul. So that plant name never related to any psycho disorder or anything. It's related to a beautiful woman, that Greek goddess, who had butterfly wings on her back. And what do we have here? That beautiful flower looks like a butterfly. Flower had opened a week ago and it's a first time bloomer for me. I bought this plant about a year ago and last December the spike showed up and I was like so excited and guess what when it was like a foot long I managed to burn the very top of that spike and lucky for me that spike branched out and kept growing so 10 months later I got a flower finally to open. The flower is supposed to be open about two, maybe three weeks, I guess. Then plant will take a two weeks break and um, start a new flower. They say plant can keep that spike and keep blooming and blooming up to 10 years from the same spike. Isn't it cool? Greek goddess Psyche was actually a wife of the Greek god of love, Eros. And just think about it, how cool love and soul always together and in that beautiful butterfly look like flower. Another cool fact about that orchid, that's the way they pollinate. When wind is blowing on the plant, so the flowers start to move and looks like a butterfly in the air, Bees, they think there is a competitor for food, for nectar, and they start to attack the flower. And they get pollina all over them and just transfer it from flower to a flower. Psychopsis can bloom any time of the year, does not matter what season, but when uh, bulbs get matured. And the spike can grow from two to three feet tall. I grow psychopsis in a mix of bark, charcoal and perlite and guess what happened? I did not water it for last two weeks because I was on vacation. Bulbs got wrinkled a little bit so I know my psychopsis does not like a dryness at all. And especially for blooming all the nutrients and water went into the spike, into the flower, so bulbs had to suffer a little bit. I'm watering it now and I'm trying to keep it on a wet side, but I have no idea if bulbs will come back to a normal plumped like they used to be. I grow Psychopsis with a Phalaenopsis level of light, but it can grow well with the Cattleya level of light. And I heard if you keep your Psychopsis in a very bright light, the flowers can come out smaller size. And also if your Psychopsis refuse to bloom, definitely it needs to be moved into brighter location to induce spiking then when flower spike is about to bloom, better still move to a Phalaenopsis level of light. They grow well on windowsill, especially if it's like east or west window, and they love to be grown in our homes because they don't require high humidity 
50% is enough for them. Very important is to have a good drainage in the pot. When you water, water should come out and media gets dry a little bit, just a little bit and water again. If we over water it, we will get a root rot, but if not enough water, bulbs will shrink. I feed it twice a month with a balanced fertilizer and you can see a new growth is growing and maybe it took about six months for that new growth to develop and hopefully it will give me another spike when bulb gets mature. Too bad older bulbs got wrinkled but what can you do? to take orchids on vacation with you. When I saw, I could not believe my eyes how fast it happened. Only two weeks, no water. Oh well, but I have a long spike and a beautiful flower. And always remember, never cut the flower spikes. It might be there for years and years. Better take a good care of it, put it in a safe place. Actually, I keep mine here in the bathroom underneath of the skylight. I have it placed on a stand, very secured, so nobody's touching the plant. And lights come actually on the leaves and flower itself kind of like under the ceiling, so no direct light on the flower it might help me to keep the flower open longer that's all i wanted to tell you guys about my first time bloomer psychopsis mendel hall hildes thank you for watching until next time bye